This is Kawagoe Castle. The year is 1545. Our Hojo fortress is completely surrounded by the army of Ogigayatsu Tomosada, a scion of the Uesugi clan. Our forces are outnumbered, but there may yet be hope. Word has come that a Hojo army is marching to relieve the siege. Even better, the besieging forces seem so confident of victory that they are not keeping a proper watch. We must hold out until reinforcements arrive. Then our clan brothers can deal a deadly blow to the besieging army. Stand strong, my brother. Victory awaits us on the horizon. I suggest we send archers to the palisades. They will be deadly to any approaching foes. Finally! Our reinforcements are on the battlefield. Victory is yours, my lord! The enemy is broken! The fitting doom has befallen the Wesugi! Kawagoe, our home is lost! This is deeply shameful! Imagawa Yoshimoto arrived at Okehazama with greater forces than Oda Nobunaga. The Imagawa arrived in such numbers that several of Lord Nobunaga's advisors pleaded with him to surrender, an option he refused to consider. Yoshimoto was so confident of victory that he allowed his men to celebrate before the battle. Lord Nobunaga led his men to the gorge with the Imagawa camp but he ordered a small force to stay behind in the Oda camp. They were to put up many flags to mislead Yoshimoto. As Nobunaga watched the Imagawa, good fortune came to his aid. A rainstorm began. The storm and the Imagawa revelries set the stage for a decisive attack that would go down in Japanese history as a pivotal moment. The plan is to move the army around to the north of the camp and then attack from there. First, however, we must clear Yoshimoto's patrols in the forest. For surprise and speed, we shall use only the cavalry. When the patrols are gone, we will attack the camp. Our target is Yoshimoto's tent. We can, we must reach the tent and kill Yoshimoto before the Imagawa realize what is happening. My lord, beware. The enemy has seen us and is going to the camp for help. My lord, beware. The enemy has found the bodies of their warriors and are going back to their camp for help. Now that the patrols are gone, attack the camp! Remember, our target is Yoshimoto. Take his head! To arms all! To arms! Nobunaga attacks! Protect Lord Yoshimoto! This victory will long be remembered as the moment when all Japan learned of our worth. Defeated? Yes. A surrender? Never.
for eight years and three battles, Uesugi Kenshin struggled against Takeda Shingen. They met for the fourth time on the Hachimambara Plain in Kawanakajima. Reliable spies had informed Uesugi Kenshin of movement within the Takeda Castle during the night before the battle. Takeda Shingen split his army in two, believing this to be a secret. He would lead one third of his men down onto the plain during the night. The remainder, under the command of his leading general, were to climb Mount Saijo, where the Uesugi were camped, to catch them unawares and drive them down onto the plain and onto the waiting spears of Takeda's men. Lord Uesugi, as always, proved to be Takeda Shingen's equal. During the night, he silently marched onto the plain. He now had the advantage as he moved against the unsuspecting Takeda army. With Takeda Shingen's army divided and superior Uesugi numbers on the plain, victory for Uesugi Kenshin was now a clear possibility. My lord, look! Takeda troops are at the river, crossing on our flank! Finally! Complete victory! What we craved is ours. The Takeda will think twice about entering Shinano. Defeat? No. A setback. There is always a chance to fight again. And the day will come when we have victory. This is the province of Omi. The year is 1570. Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu are marching north along the eastern shore of Lake Biwa. Nobunaga means to fight Asai Nagamasa, his brother-in-law, and Nagamasa's allies, the Asakura clan, who have plotted against him. The Asai and Asakura armies are in a defensive position along the Anegawa River. Their position blocks the plain beneath the Asai's most formidable fortress, Odani Castle. Watching the battle from the castle above will be Nagamasa's father, Asai Hisamasa. Oda Nobunaga's sister, Oichi, is also in the castle. Nobunaga wants her back. Oda Nobunaga knows that he has the Asai cornered. If he defeats them, there will be no escape for anyone in Odani Castle. He has split his army. The Oda will meet the Asai on the right. On the left, the Tokugawa will face the Asakura. If his battle plan works, then the two wings should attack Odani Castle from either side. Tokugawa Ieyasu is confident and knows that his army will play a crucial role in today's victory. Commander! Lord Nobunaga is engaging the enemy and requests us to cross the river to support his attack. Daimyo, Lord Nobunaga requests that you focus your attacks on the left while he takes the right. Engage the enemy rockets! Our opponents fall before us, yet the Oda face more resistance. Perhaps we should send men to their aid. The Oda have committed their reserves to battle. We should assist where we can. My lord! Dreadful news! Lord Nobunaga has fallen! His men break their spears in grief! My lord! What has come that the Asai commander is in retreat towards the castle? Defeat his army, and they will be surrounded!
The Asai and Asakura are crushed! All of Japan will surely tremble as the Oda and the Tokugawa march onwards. My lord, the Oda clan retreat. We must do likewise. This battle is lost. It is 1574. And Oda Nobunaga is laying siege to the Koiki Fortress at Nagashima. This is his third attempt to reduce the island citadel. Sited in a river delta on the border of Ise and Owari provinces, the fortress has been a thorn in Nobunaga's side for years. Stung by his previous failures to capture the stronghold, the warlord has now brought all his forces to bear against the Koiki. Nagashima is completely surrounded. There is no escape by either land or sea. Nobunaga's plan does not anticipate surrender, nor does he anticipate survivors. The Oda have set fire to the fortress from the outside, in the strong winds, the fire should take hold quickly. The Koiki must fight their way out of the castle before they burn to death in sight. My lord, the fortifications are ablaze and the fire is spreading! This is the moment to break this siege! Nobunaga and his Oda army have been put to flight! The fortress is burned, but we are still masters of this land! We are lost! Defeat embraces us! The fortress is burned, and the sect with it! It is June 1575. And Nagashino Castle in Mikawa province is under attack. After an incursion deep into Tokugawa territory failed, Takeda Katsuyori led his army back into the mountains and now besieges the fortress at Nagashino. He can count among his forces the fearsome Takeda cavalry, known to be the finest in Japan. The young Takeda warlord is keen to be successful in his attack on Nagashino after the failure of his raid so far. However, word has now reached Tokugawa years that his castle is under attack. The Tokugawa are not without powerful friends. Oda Nobunaga, the foremost warlord in central Japan, has brought his army to relieve the siege. Among his army, are his many matchlock gunners. Nobunaga means to deploy these gunners behind wooden palisades alongside regular infantry, all to protect them from the Takeda cavalry. However, Nobunaga knows that his defensive position is unlikely to save the Nagashino garrison. He has sent a flanking army into the hills to the south. Once the Takeda are defeated at the Palisades, the flanking force will be able to relieve the castle. The Oda, therefore, have two battles to win. They must repel the Takeda cavalry at their defensive line 
and also relieves Narashino Castle before it falls. The Takeda are advancing! Soon their horses will be upon us! We must defend the Palisades! The Takeda are storming the castle! Now is the time to aid the garrison! My lord, our army is in flight! Nagashino Castle shall surely fall! We are defeated! The castle is lost, my lord! Shame and dishonor are the price we must pay for our failure here! The Takeda have been swept from the field and are fleeing to the mountains! The siege is broken! A glorious victory! This is the Kizu River in 1578. Two years after losing an earlier battle, Admiral Kuki Yoshitaka of the Oda clan has returned. His task is to break the supply lines to Ishiyama Honganji, the cathedral fortress under siege by Oda Nobunaga, his daimyo. Yoshitaka has come with six huge O-Atakabune warships. Among the crew are many seasoned Machloka Ashigaru, survivors of the bloody battle here two years ago. The defending fleet is led by Murakami Takayoshi, a Mori admiral, more used to fighting with conventional ships. Although weaker, these ships are faster and more agile than the other vessels. They are the only hope for a Mori victory against the superior Oda force. The Oda fleet's overwhelming strength looks almost certain to defeat the Mori. <laughs> almost. Despite the impressive strength of the enemy, we have achieved a glorious victory! My lord! The battle is lost! I fear the temple of Ishiyama Honganji will fall without supplies! Lord Mitsunari arrived at Sekigahara before Lord Ieyasu and camped on Mount Sasao. During the night, Ieyasu's men made a difficult journey around Mount Nangu and entered Sekigahara, all the while hidden by a heavy mist. Such was the mist that leading units on both sides accidentally and briefly clashed. As the mist burnt away, I could see Lord Ieyasu's command post set up at the foot of Mount Nangu. His men took their positions on the battlefield. The young Lord Hideaki has taken an excellent position on Mount Matsu. However, there are rumors of a plot by Hideaki to betray Lord Mitsunari. I Otani Yoshitsugu have placed my troops in front of Lord Hideaki's force. I'm concerned that other betrayals and insults will bear fruit. Will Lord Shimas fight after the insults he endured from Lord Mitsunari? Only time will tell. My Lord! The Shimazu will not commit to battle. Apparently, a messenger has offended their owner by not dismounting when delivering a message. My lord, we are betrayed. Lord Hideaki has joined forces with the Tokugawa and is now charging down the mountain towards us. Despite betrayal, we have crushed the Iyasu once and for all. The Toyotomi clan and name will live on. What chance was there with traitors at our side? Shimazu, Mori, Hideaki, curse their names. Now the Tokugawa cannot be stopped. <laughs>